Good afternoon everybody. Today we're going to make some yogurt in a crock pot. But also <clears throat> we're going to take some more probiotic. We're going to basically take our starter here and use this as a starter just plain yogurt. But in a separate thing I'm going to put a, uh, a um, canning jar. I'm going to take a canning jar and we're going to put some of the milk in to make the yogurt. And we're not going to use the uh, the Danton yogurt. We're going to try and put in some probiotics. Now these are freeze dried, and the lady told me I really should use um, the the liquid cultures. But according to corporate, these are live um, live cultures. They're just dormant by being freeze dried. So I'm going to put a little bit in there on the side in a little separate canning jar, and use everything else the same except for I won't be using the the Danton starter. But we're going to try that and see if we can actually make our own probiotic yogurt. And if it doesn't work, well, we'll go ahead and do it with um, some live cultures when I buy some. Just that this bottle's still pretty much full and I don't want to buy any time ready. Um, and if that does work, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not use this next time. I'll just go ahead and use uh, the uh, probiotic that focuses with all the strains. And I'll put a a list on a video of all the strains toward read here. Um, I don't have a, a temperature probe, it broke. So I'm going to use my um, my multimeter and its thermal probe. Now we're going to put a, a thermometer probe on there, or cover on there to keep it out of the out of the starter and everything. And then we're basically going to take this and once we get the milk heated up and sterilized, I'll go through all that. You can either leave this on your counter and wrap it in towels or blankets or comfort or whatever. I'm just going to set it in the oven and turn the oven light on to ferment or uh, keep the temperature right. Um, I'm going to do it. We're going to let this go ahead and set out though while I'm cooking everything up and heating up, pasteurizing. But I'm going to let that set out so it doesn't make my uh, my mixture cold when I add it back into the, the starter or add it to the starter. So let's go ahead and get into it. Like I said, I'll, do, I'll go through it step by step what I'm doing. And this will be added to like a separate batch. And it, it won't really be done in the crock pot, it'll just be done in a canning jar. And it'll be set it'll set in the inside of the oven. Um, this with blankets is enough for a thermal mass. Uh, some people put heating pads under there. I'm not gonna. But we'll see. We'll see what we gotta do. And in eight hours it should be like custard. In fourteen hours it should be like regular yogurt. Um, I hear the longer you uh, wait and the more sugars are on there, the more tangier it will be. So, the reason I'm doing this is for the probiotics. Um, I went through a course of antibiotics a while back, two courses of them for my, my teeth, and I don't want to get anything bad like C. diff or anything. And, um, they found out that your, um, your, um, appendix holds a lot of bacteria and reservoir, and I don't have an appendix anymore, so... I'm going to supplement this, especially in a, a shit at the fan scenario, pardon the language. I want the best opportunities I can to fight off disease and sickness and all that stuff. And your, it seems to be your general health uh, radiates from your core outward. So we're going to start with our, our digestion and our general intestinal flora and stuff. So that's how we're doing. That's why I'm doing this. Um, you could probably make yogurt with pickles. Uh, cucumbers have the right bacteria, I believe. But that's something for another time. Right now we're just going to make it in the crock pot and we're going to do a separate experiment of the probiotic thing. And if it works, like I said, then we'll just do it from now on with just probiotics. Uh, my understanding is you have to make a new culture every, um, every like three or four times. Because the lactobacillus will overtake the culture. And then you'll just have that one. But I want multiple strains in mine, so. Alright, so let's get into it. I'll start heating up the milk now to, um, I think it was... 181 degrees, 185 degrees where it starts to froth, uh, 85 degrees Celsius. So, if your if your country is walked on the moon, you can go 185 degrees. If your country is not walked on the moon, you can go 85 degrees Celsius. So up to you, either way. Unfortunately, well, fortunately, my country is walked on the moon, but. The people that made my multimeter haven't, so 
We're going to be using Celsius for this video, unfortunately. My multimeter doesn't go both ways. I didn't know. I thought it was, but it didn't. So there we go. We're going to heat up to 85 degrees Celsius. And that will pasteurize the milk and get rid of all the other bacteria that we don't know about in there or don't want. Or that will cause off flavors or whatever. And then we'll, we'll do it. But let me go ahead and heat that milk up and I'll be right back. Oh, one other thing is you can either heat it up in here and just let it sit for a couple hours to get the temperature on high. I'm going to go ahead and heat it up on the stove just to be quicker because it takes a long time to let this thing go. We're talking 8 to, to 14 hours, so there you go. All right, so I'm going to heat up and I'll add the milk back to this and we'll be right back. All right, so we're heating it on medium. I'm going to constantly keep stirring while I get this ready. And we're going to get it up to 85, I think I said. Yes, 85 degrees Celsius. And then everything will be pasteurized. So I'm going to constantly keep stirring, so I'll be back when this is done. Okay, we just hit 85 degrees. This is how it looks. Let me go ahead and turn this uh, off. Now we just got to wait. It's kind of frothy a little bit. You can see. So we're going to let that wait. It's going to 86 now. So there we go. We're back to 85. So I don't know how long it took. Whatever the clock in the background said, that's what it took. So now we're going to transfer this to the jar, the, the crock pot over there. And a little bit. And we'll put a little bit in this canning tunnel here. And that will do the probiotics in there and then put the canning jar in there. Or the, um, We'll put this in the oven, and then this will just um, put the yogurt in and let it set, heat it up, put it in the oven and let it cool. But we're not going to let it go below, but we're not going to do anything until we hit um, under 100, 120 degrees, I think. Yeah, the milk has to be below 120 degrees or 49 degrees Celsius. Um, I'm not going to let it go below 90 degrees, so basically, you want it between 120 and 90, or, you know, around the human body temperature. Otherwise, if you put it in now, it'll kill all the bacteria off, we don't want to do that, so. Let me, um, let me get back, I'll, I'll go ahead and transfer it to the two containers, and I'll be back as soon as the temperature drops, and I'll be back. All right. Okay, we're at 45 degrees Celsius. That's almost optimal. We need it to be between 120 and 90. Uh, 43 being, or yeah, 120 degrees and 90 degrees is, works. 110 degrees, which is 43 Celsius, is optimal. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to mix some of this with the room temperature yogurt over there and make my culture and pour it back in. And then this one here, we're going to put the bottle in, or one capsule in. We're going to set it in the oven and let it uh, ferment, I guess. Uh, this one here has a warming mode on it, so I would try to just put it in there and let it run on keep warm and see what happens. Uh, I'll constantly monitor the temperature, but we'll see how it goes. So let me go ahead and um, let me go ahead and I'm just add this. I'm going to whisk it in, or um, I'm going to mix this, this cup of yogurt, into this jar here. And then I'm going to mix a probiotic capsule into there. So let me go ahead and get the, this part going. We'll just go on with it. Okay. So I've got now two capsules out of the uh, pill bottle. Our, our temperature right now is... Forty degrees Celsius, so we're in optimal. So we're just going to add the bacteria from these. I'm going to do two because I don't know how many survived the freeze drying process, and we're going to inoculate anyway. So let's inoculate our mixture. There we go. Okay. And I went ahead and cleaned this and everything so it doesn't have any other bacteria on it. We're going to mix it all in. Good enough. We're going to check our temperature again. So 
39 degrees, so we got to get it in the oven. And mind you, the oven only has a light on it. We're just going to leave this cap a little bit like that. Uh, this one here, turn that off. This here is set on warm, and the milk's in there. We're going to open the oven here. Wow. That really scared the crap out of me. <laughs> okay, we're just going to set this in there. See how hot it is in there right now. Well, it feels warm, but I'll have to get the temperature gauge running here in a bit. So I'll leave that in there to tell. Let's go ahead and get this in there. I'm going to set it in the rack. Like I said, the oven is off, so let me go ahead and shut this. Yeah. And we'll leave that for a long time. That's a dirty stove. Anyway, it looks like it's about 24 degrees Celsius in there, so we may have to add some uh, some temperature later. But there we go. So I'll be back in, let's see, it's 2.15 now. So I'll be back probably about 7 or 8 hours, and we'll see where we're at. And I'll be back. All right. Okay, it's 10.30. It's been about eight hours. You can let this run up to, I guess, 48 hours, depending on how much you like it or how tart you want it. So here it is. Let me, uh, I don't know what time I'm going to let this go longer, but as you can see, you got your yogurt in there. It's got a lot of whey in there right now. Let's go ahead and try this. The wife said it was good, so I think it's good. It tastes like the Danton. Only a little more tangy, so I'm gonna let it go so the culture gets stronger. Now, if we go over here, I bring this over here. You can see that we actually got our yogurt. Ah, there we go. We got our yogurt. We get different spoons and we're contaminating. I'm gonna like this into a starter culture. You can see we got the yogurt. But that's going to be a starter culture. The wife says it doesn't taste as strong. I'm letting her eat it first. You know, in case in case we made a lactobotulism. <laughs> but I'm going to let this run overnight and tomorrow we'll do it. Uh, but you can see it, it's turned into a yogurt. So it actually worked from the probiotic capsules. So I just left it in the oven with the pilot, or the, um, the light bulb on, and I'll leave it all night. Now what we're going to do, <clears throat> and the uh, crockpot I slept on keep warm. <clears throat> now, the probiotic one is going to go back to being the, um, is going to be the, uh, the starter culture for my next big batch. And this one we're going to break up into canning jars, and we're going to make some of it with strawberry, strawberry jam, just mix that in there to flavor it. And then, the other part, I'm going to take a potato masher and mash up some raspberry, red raspberries. Because that's what I have on hand. And we're going to put that in there. So, there you go. It worked. It tastes fine. Uh, I haven't test, tasted the, uh, the one made from the capsules, but the wife did. And she says that's just fine. So, there you go. So... Alright, this is North Carolina Pepper. Made yogurt in the crock pot. I'm going to let it go probably till tomorrow morning, like I said. So if you want more, more tangy and stuff, that's just what I like. But this tastes just like the Danton or whatever. And the one... How did the one in the oven taste? It tastes good. It tastes just, um, a little more tangy. Come in here. Yeah, it tasted a little tangier. Tangier than the Danton? Than the Danton. Danton was more sweet. Uh -huh. Well, because we're going to let it eat up all the the sugars in the oven and make a very strong, strong probiotic. And um, I'll let my dog explain what, what bacteria was in the oven one. The bacteria in the probiotic capsule is bacterial cults lactobacillus rhamnosus, L. Casey, L. Acidophilus, L. Plantarum, L. Bulgaricus, L. Salivarius. Bifidobacterium bifidum, Streptococcus thermophilus, B. Longum, B. 
breathe. These beneficial bacteria can be used in your homemade yogurt. B. Breathe, B. Longum, L. Acidophilus, L. Bulgaricus, L. Case, L. Plantarum, L. Ramnesus, S. Bouladii, S. Thermophilus. Okay, so that's what's in there. And that's what we actually cultivated it from this right here. So, alright, that's my kind of pepper. Please rate, subscribe, and thumbs up for my dog. Smart dog. Alright, have a great day, thanks.